Hey, hey, Pusher Run Nation. Peace, Dr. Dave here in the lab. If you are interested in pushing your running performance to the next level over and above what your genetic potential is using science, this is a video for you, so stay tuned. I'm going to be going over some of the what I call science instruments that has enabled me to greatly drop my competitive running times, not only from 5K, but all the way up to half marathon. And over a month and a half in four half marathons, take in 17 minutes of my PR time. I am huge into the science. Being a research scientist, I've published many scientific journal articles, mostly on performance psychology, performance mindset for high performance athletes. So I am a true believer in using scientific methods that have been proven to help athletes out raise their performance to the next level. If you've watched a few of my videos in the past, you've probably seen me mention ketone drinks. One in particular, Ketone IQ, I've been using for probably at least four months, maybe six months. I'm coming off a two-week regimen of using this and documenting my heart rate, ketone levels and training rates, paces, how much my performance has improved in races over similar courses as the other two ketone type drinks I'm going to be using. Now yesterday, in a long run, I just started using Delta G, which is the original ketone drink. And originally, when Ketone IQ came out, they bought their ketones from Delta G because they were the only one making them at the time. Over a period of time, for a few different reasons, Ketone IQ or HVMN is the parent company. They changed their formula to make it more marketable, I think, to the masses. A little bit different type of concoction. It's not a pure ketone type drink now. In another video, I'm going to be going over the battle between these three products. So stay tuned for that. Ketone IQ, I have Delta G, and the third one, ketone aid very similar delta g and ketone aid these two are more similar than ketone iq is to either one of these right now but all three of them market themselves as a ketone type drink so i'm going to be testing what these drinks individually do for me, what my ketone levels are before ingesting 30 minutes later at the end of a one hour training run, heart rate fluctuation, other data I'm going to be collecting that may show how these impacted my training. And I'll be using a Keto Mojo blood glucose and ketone monitoring device actually that Delta G sent me. Now, Delta G and Ketone Aid, full transparency, both sent me complimentary product, a lot of it, to use during testing. They're all about testing their products to bring ketone use to the next level. Ketone IQ sent them plenty of messages letting them know these two companies sent me product to use during research. Never heard anything back from HVMN. But that doesn't mean I didn't go out on my own and bought it to be able to use and test all three. So I know how they've been working for me. Ketone IQ, I can say that definitely, this is basically a ketone alcohol. I can definitely say that I felt a performance improvement in energy using Ketone IQ. But yesterday, for the first time, now let me go back a little bit. Ketone IQ has 10 grams of ketone as, trying to read this, R1 and 3 butanediol. <laughs> excuse, excuse me for not pronouncing it right. 
but I'll get that correct when I go into further videos. But basically, this is a ketone alcohol. The other two are not. This has 10 grams of supposed ketones in it. So to kind of be equal, this whole shot bottle from Delta G has 30, 30 milliliters, but it says it has 32 grams of ketone ester. Now, if the product does not say ester, ketone ester is specifically ketones. Doesn't say ester, it's not. So to be equal, knowing this was 10 grams, I took two capsules of Delta G yesterday and did a 16 mile long run over a relatively hilly course, which I've done that same course many times. And I can tell you after that 16 mile run, if it wasn't pitch black out and I didn't bring a headlamp with me, I probably could have done at least another five or six miles easily. But 16 was what I was supposed to do, so that's what I did. Very promising on Delta G. I have yet to use Ketone Aid, their KE4 ketones. And again, one bottle here, 30 grams of ketone ester. And by the directions on here, you use one capful for five milliliters, which would be five grams of ketones. So again, to be the same with the other two, I'll consume two capfuls of the ketone aid. So a little bit more later in an individual video on the ketones. If you're interested to know how to use science and specific training protocols to push your performance level to the next highest point above your genetic potential. Stay tuned to the channel. Please, if you've gotten anything, even one thing positive out of this video, please hit that thumbs up. Make a comment down below letting us know, not just me, but everyone who reads the comments, what you use, if anything, in training, why you use it, what type of edge do you feel it has given you, or have you used something and it didn't give you an edge that it was supposed to? That's equally as beneficial for us to learn. And lastly, if you're not subscribed to the channel, please subscribe because in the next few months, I'm going to be coming out with new ways to push more information out to you or to specifically subscribers to the channel to get more into the science, more in depth as a university researcher. Stay tuned for more videos. This is Dr. Dave for Push the Run Nation. Peace.